Hi everyone, I'm JD from We Love Our Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So excited to share with you two new journals. These are boho journals and actually these covers I loved so much that I was going to keep these for me. Um, yeah, they were going to be personal journals, but because I'm moving and I'm decluttering, I have to kind of be very selective with which journals that I keep. So I am parting with these ones, turned them into journals and I will do a flip through for you guys. This one is this cover here, beautiful glitter and gold and blue, <laughs> that's why I like it. Um, and this one was so beautiful too. I love the teal and this pink, oh, it's just beautiful. Now this one reminds me of Princess Jasmine. So <laughs> if you were there in a live, I was talking about how much I loved this journal and I was umming and ahhing about keeping it or not keeping it and all of that kind of thing but anyway here is a flip through of this one first so it has the same papers as the other boho journals using tailor-made journals uh, Lorna Taylor's um, Etsy tailor-made journals um, the Grungy wallpapers pack one and three I've got some glassine bags here I've got um, the vintage French receipts kit from my Etsy these are pages from triple V vintage her Etsy and yeah, just a lovely mix of different pages and papers. And this one comes from the Boho kit from my Etsy. Got a pocket page here. And just, yeah, a really nice variety in here, which I love. This one has three signatures and I tried to pack it full of all these interesting pages so that the pages themselves can provide the beauty and inspiration. Um, oh, I forgot they do come with a little bit of ephemera. Let me just show you that before I forget. They each come with one of the bags, one of the sequin shaker bags, and also a bunch of charms. I believe there's eight of those charms that you've seen on my other boho journals. So they, these come with each of the journal as well. Okay, let's keep on going. <laughs> so there's the other end of that glassine bag. Really, really pretty. Uh, this is my style of journal. Um, because originally these covers were going to be for me, um, I did make them in the style that I prefer. So unembellished, but hopefully it's the pages that are the thing that speak. Oh, I, I love those flowers, sorry. <laughs> and this one especially too. I love that there's writing space on here as well. So you don't need to decorate it. It's already decorated for you, but not taking up too much space that you can't even write on it. Like again here, you could, Feel that all in and here love 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 so yeah these are very much in made in the vein of my personal style what I would like um, and so yeah love 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 these ones in particular there's that photo album pocket page lots of blues of course because I love blue <laughs> and that's again why I chose the blue washi tape that's my favorite one I love that one another glassine bag the French pages So, so pretty. Oh, that one's so lovely too. Actually, I got those ones from um, Kylie from Paper Daisy Journals. Thank you so much. This is the first time I've actually used them. And I really like them. They're very, very effective, very striking. So I'm glad to, yeah, look at that blue color. I love it. <laughs> love, 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 love that one. You can do so many things with that one too. You can turn it into collages, tags, ephemera. So pretty. And my stamp at the back of this one so these are both available um, if you're interested in owning one of them feel free just to email me all the information will be below to email um, just let me know what country you're from though so that I can give you a shipping price and here we go I'm pretty sure now these are the last two boho journals I'll be making I keep saying that but then I I look at my um, stash I'm like oh there's still a bit more that I can use and of course these covers yeah, like I said, I've got to keep them, but then I was like, no, i got to part with these. I've put so many journals. I've had to part with quite a few that I bought. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit sad, but I had to also part with a few that I was gifted as well. Some that I bought, some that I made for me as well, some that I was going to keep for me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to limit the amount of journals that I take to the next place to one shelf. And then everything else just has to go. So I've got to be 
It's very, very selective and it's a bit painful parting with some of them. And actually there's two that I made myself as well. Like I've parted with a lot that I've made myself, but there's two in particular that I'm not sure if I can bring myself to part with them. So I'm just holding on to those for a bit longer and I'll see if I need to part with them. If I can't put on my shelf, well then they probably just have to go. <laughs> Um, there's that beautiful blue page there again. This one has two signatures because um, it had a, a narrower spine, which I'll give you a look at after this. Because I actually left the spine blank. I've got this journal no, book book at an op shop with the idea of making it for me because I just fell in love with the colour, the teal colour. And so I just, I just, I don't know, I love it. I love all of this and I want to keep it as plain as I could. This is a tuck spot if you want it to be a tuck spot, um, but I just really love that combination. And then this is what the spine looks like. I just wanted to keep that. I didn't want to cover that at all. So yeah. <laughs> um, so those are the two journals. I hope you like them. Um, they were fun to make. I hope they are special treasures for someone else. If I can't keep them, hopefully they give someone else delight and joy and a bit of beauty and inspiration and that they will be treasure chests for you to place your own treasure. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. You guys are all beautiful, sparkling gems. Thank you for being you. Uh, you shine bright out there because just by being you, you bring light and goodness and beauty to those around you. And um, I thank you so much for you, for who you are, for just being you. And it's a brave thing to be yourself sometimes in this world, isn't it? So um, super, super proud of people whenever they are just completely themselves, all their fears and flaws out there we all struggle we all have weaknesses and it's all okay <laughs> um so yeah I don't know if, I'm not sure where this is coming from but I just want to really I feel in my heart I guess to share um maybe someone out there is struggling and you maybe want to hide in the background or you just want to crumble or you just want to not be seen and I just want to let you know um I see you and I think you're amazing and I want to let you know you are seen and valued and loved and heard and, and don't be afraid to keep showing that to the world because you never know who might need to see that, who might need to hear that. And you're beautiful just as you are. You're so beautiful. So thank you for being you. It's a brave thing. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.